Well, Jessica, business owners here say it's been especially difficult over the past month or two as COVID has wreaked havoc on the supply chain. You may notice it on your taste buds. If they, they don't have the regular stock of, say, a turkey breast, we get a different uh, type of turkey breast. Definitely in your wallet. Well, there isn't anything that's been you know, not given a price spike from, from paper goods to food items and that type of thing. Supply chain issues hitting restaurants, grocers, and consumers hard. Mighty Subs owner Arthur Wright is trying to adapt. If I kept two days inventory, I might go for keeping four or six days of inventory. Supermarkets across the area once again with empty shelves. You have no control and it's just like boom. Oh, we don't have it. And then you call them for a month or two. Can't get us. For Eric's Market in Watertown, it's especially difficult as many of their products are imported from overseas. It's like a tsunami. It's like every which way possible, it's getting hit. You know, you're having trouble with, you know, overseas, local, shipping, distributors, you know, customs, bringing stuff from the boats and delays, and it's like all over the place. The owners here say links in the chain are broken as workers are out with COVID and especially a lack of truck drivers. And after 50 years of successful business, there's no end in sight. It's been a disaster, stuff we've never seen in the history of, you know, being in business. Now back here live, you can actually see that they are pretty well stocked here because they've done a good job of ordering and produce here also well stocked because they say it's relatively easy to get. We're live in Watertown this evening. I'm Peter Iliopoulos, WCBB News Center 5.